Hey everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In this part, we are going to uh, get the piece of heart. Just give me one second, I'm going to show you how to sync with video. Alright, let's go. Um, so, anyway, in the last part, we didn't, we wasn't able to activate the Goron side quest, uh, for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, I don't know. I'll probably have to look into that later. Um, but, for right now, let's just continue collecting these, uh, uh, strawberries. Okay, there we go. Well, we beat it. I'm pretty sure it's 10,000 that you have to have in order to beat this. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, it's 10,000. Yeah, so if you follow my strategy, that th that will be a piece of cake. And if he'll ask you if you want to go for the high score, and I think if if you beat the high score, then you get a uh, hundred rupees for each time. But now, since we're already in uh, Lake High Upper Zora River, we're gonna go ahead and do that. What do you mean? No one's around. Uh, who will see us? No one. Did Wait, is that bird? Is he still? Yeah, he's probably still there. I don't know. There. No one will see us up here. Okay. So now with that done, let's go ahead and get this uh, mini game done. We're basically gonna be riding down that river again. Okay, open the door. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so anyway, she'll recognize you and ask you to uh, come on. It's 20 rupees for this game, but yet the other one was free. I don't understand that. All right. All right, so now you're gonna have the bomb arrows, and now we're gonna have to blow up these vases. And you have to have 25 by the end to uh, to win this. So I'm gonna try. Oh, okay. For one, you gotta be good at dodging these things because if you hit an edge, you will lose uh, points. But luckily, if you don't have any, then you won't lose any because it's not like a little cheater thing and uh, we'll go to negative one. Because there are some games that do that, and I really hate that. Okay, so there are green ones and red ones. Red ones are worth two. And at the very end, if you're still screwing up, um, they're going to be nice and actually give you like a bunch of greens and one red. So anyway, let's just continue down this. Okay, I thought I saw one over there. That one. Hit this one. Alright, come down here. Oh god, oh god, don't, don't, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Oh, oh god, that was so close. Whew. Like, you, when I really say don't hit, I mean, I really mean to emphasize, I mean really emphasize on the word hit. Because there's really not that many of these jars, but I know, oh crap. Crap, you're really going to hear me complain, like, really get angry right here because I've never beaten this thing with perfect I've always gotten hit near the end crap crap oh come on Shoot that one good thing I'm good with a bow and arrow because usually this is hard if you don't if you're not good with a bow and arrow so you know if you're not good with this I, I'd say at least practice a little bit with uh, arrows not bomb arrows because you can't get bombs out in the field like you can with arrows. I don't understand that. Um, so go ahead and shoot this. Uh, I, I can't believe I missed that. Oh crap, oh crap! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that sound really funny when I do that. Okay. 
Okay, there's that. Yeah, see, this is the end. 23, 24, 26. Okay, I beat this by one point. Now, don't think just because you're out of the woods that you're not going to get hit. Yes, you still can get hit if you're being stupid. If you ride the edge and you get hit, you will lose your points. You have to... I think you need... It, I think if you had 25, you don't win, which is completely bullcrap. I think you actually need... Uh, well, I could be wrong on that. I mean, don't correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because, I mean, getting 25 is hard enough. So, I mean, the, I guess the game designers would be a little bit nice to you. Well, it is for me, anyway. Yeah, okay, they're nice, and you can score 25, but then you get the bigger bomb back. That's how you get the bomb back upgrades in this game. I only did it once to show you guys. There's really no need because you have those three bomb bags, and all in all, if you put uh, three normal bombs in there, like 30 normal bombs in each one, you can carry 90 rupees, which is a pretty good number. And then, you know, and also we can get the bomb chews now, but they're really useless in this game you don't use them once as far as I know I've never had to use one but I'm probably not gonna get it I'll show you guys where to get it probably later but not now but now we're gonna get that stupid pole that uh, that got away last time I actually had one of my friends come up to me at school and said dude that was like so bad because apparently it's not the only time it's happened to me it's happened to him as well and we both laughed at it and then uh... you know we I decided you know Try it again next time it's night time. Okay, still get hit. Oh, by the way, I forgot to uh, mention this, but um, you rem if you remember me saying about a Helmosaur, I don't know where they are came, uh, came from. I did some research on ZeldaUniverse.net, um, being the big Zelda nerd that I am. Um, I actually found out Helmosaurs came from Minish Cap, and that really did shock me because I knew there was these enemies, but I never knew what they were called. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're from Minish Cap, and they look nothing like they did. In Minish Cap, you could tear, uh, there were these things that were like a little ball thing with a metal mask on, and those guys were annoying as it was, but when I didn't know there was Hel Helmosaurs, so I, I, I kind of thought it was cool of how they changed their design. Well, I kind of wish they would kind of kept their design a little bit. Alright, so there's two poses in here, and I don't know if there's one in the throne room, but we're going to get all the ones right here. Um, I do know, uh, probably want to, I gotta say this now, if, I've asked a couple of people if they could see one game, uh, one Zelda item that was in a Game Boy Advance game, what would it be? And I've had some pretty cool, I've had some people tell me, uh, which ones they like, like the Kang, I've, the cane of Pocky from Minish Cap that flips stuff over. The flame rod that was in a uh, uh, Four Swords and or a Link to the Past. It's been a long time since I last played it. And um, you know this is gonna sound kind of funny, but the one Zelda item from a handheld game that I'd love to see the most is probably the Gust Jar. That would be so awesome to see that in 3D. Alright, so go ahead and attack this guy. Oh, no, attack him. Thank you. So now that makes two. I think there's one more in Zora's Domain, but I could be wrong on that, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna warp to the throne room and see if that's true or not, so. Okay, I didn't want to transform a human. Let's press the button too quick. Anyway, I'm, I'm probably not going to record much today, because really all I want to record to is just uh, after probably when we activate the next hidden skin. Alright, so there's none in here. I'm going to go really quick and check and see if there's anything beyond this point. Okay, it doesn't look like there is. Okay. Let me see. Oh crap, I don't want to jump. Dang it. 
Well, anyway, I think we reached far enough in this part. Tune in next time to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, where we go and get more puzzles. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys then.